Uh, investors are currently waiting for one of the most highly anticipated IPOs since the likes of Uber and Lyft went public. WeWork is garnering intense interest, but also more than a few questions about its business model. Leslie Picker joins us here now with more on this deal. Hey, Liz. Hey, Mike. That's right. It's hard to recall a more polarizing IPO than WeWork. The Bulls will point to the top line growth doubling year over year and on pace to put up more than $3 billion in revenue in 2019. But the not-so-silent bears will point to the bottom line, operating losses nearly equal to the revenue coming in the door. Those two competing forces overlaid by macro concerns, a contro controversial CEO, complicated legal structure, and risk appetite will be the driving forces behind investor demand for this deal. And that demand may be tested soon. The SEC requires that companies wait a minimum of 15 calendar days from the time they disclose their IPO prospectus to launching their roadshow. That means WeWork can technically start marketing to investors by the end of this week, although given the holiday, they may choose to wait until next week to get more investor attention. The big question the bulls and bears will have to grapple with, though, is does WeWork's financial profile and business model command that multiple of a tech company that focuses on real estate or that of a real estate company that has some technology?